Hello everyone, I'm Chris Hernandez and this is the Weekly Report. It's a look at news from the city of Kansas City, Missouri. The city is staging a unique and creative art exhibit called The Art of Data. Artists will reinterpret city data and the resulting artwork will be displayed this summer at a First Friday show in the Arts KC Gallery space in the Crossroads. This project brings together two of the city's biggest priorities, promoting the creative economy and showing our residents how important data is when deciding how to best use their tax dollars to provide services. Local artists can now submit their ideas and apply to participate. Visit kcmo.gov and search for Art and Data to find the online application. Private sponsors will provide funding for artist stipends. Many permit and inspection fees for health services can now be paid online. Search for the health department at kcmo.gov and then simply click the online forms and applications link, enter some basic information about your business and submit a payment at your convenience. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments. Hi, I'm Janet O'Hagan with Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities, bringing you news of upcoming shows and sporting events taking place at your city facilities. For fun family entertainment, Discover the Dinosaurs returns to Bartle Hall February 20th through February 22nd. Explore the mystery of prehistoric life in an environment of learning, amazement, and fun. Discover the Dinosaurs is a unique hands-on exhibit that consists of up to 40 moving and replica museum quality dinosaurs that gives you the opportunity to actually get close and touch the dinosaurs. Beyond the exhibit, additional fun activities are available for kids of all ages, which makes spending the day with the dinosaurs a great experience for the entire family. For ticket information, go to discoverthedinosaurs.com. The 2015 Greater Kansas City International Auto Show will be at Bartle Hall March 4th through the 8th with over 500 new cars, trucks, SUVs, crossovers, and minivans. Imagine yourself behind the wheel of a fuel-sipping hybrid, the highest of the luxury market, or rugged, hard-working trucks. You will be impressed with the latest models and technical achievements from the best of the automotive industry. There's no better spot to comparison shop than the Kansas City Auto Show. For more information, visit KansasCityAutoShow.com. The original Kansas City Home Show returns to Bartle Hall March 20th through the 22nd. A Kansas City tradition for 67 years, the Home Show, together with the KC Lawn and Garden Show, present new opportunities and choices for homeowners to get a jump on spring projects. Meet Chip and Joanna Gaines from HGTV's hit, Fixer Upper. They will be presenting on the main stage on Saturday, March 21st, 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. and Sunday, March 22nd, 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. To learn about more events taking place at Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities, visit kcconvention.com and click on the events calendar or call 816-513-5000. Welcome, I'm your host, Chris Hernandez, and this is Kansas City's Culture of Health. Like many cities across the nation, Kansas City has struggled with the impacts of ethnic inequalities, which have echoed even after the end of segregation. A report released by the Kansas City Health Department in 2000 showcased the drastic divide, an 11 year difference in life expectancy based on race and ethnicity. But then our community united to initiate change by confronting the social factors contributing to this disparity. Our catalyst for change is in four distinct areas, peace, healthcare, prosperity, and well-being. Kansas City's health department began a unique initiative using a new type of health worker 
who hits the streets to interrupt violence, mentor high-risk individuals, and foster peace. We have grown to be desensitized as a people. And, and so we have, to, uh, we have to understand who we are as human beings. Until we can get to that point, uh, to take a life is nothing. Another important element in growing Kansas City's culture of health is improving access to health care. In Kansas City, we're blessed with voters that have supported at a 70% level a property tax we call the health levy. That health levy actually helps us to treat illnesses and injuries, but even more importantly, to prevent those illnesses and injuries from occurring to begin with. Good health is central for our community. That's why the Greater Kansas City Chamber of Commerce was involved in the very beginning in our first health levy. We're going to be launching in close association with Mayor Sly James in the city of Kansas City, Missouri, a major effort called Healthy KC. We know that healthy Kansas Cityans go a long way toward making this the very best place to live, work, start a business, and grow a business. Several strong public-private partnerships, like a lending program, help sow the seeds of prosperity. Sometimes it is a chronic um, financial struggle. In some cases, it is that just emergency need. The Ban the Box initiative helps ex-felons find work, and their families can get SNAP benefits. Ban the Box provides for so many people who perhaps might have made one little mistake in their life uh, to get back on their feet by not having to check a box that says that you've been convicted of a felony or misdemeanor. Growing healthier communities also requires a focus on well-being, like sending this mobile food truck to food deserts. Our culture of health includes strong community participation in the Mayor's Literacy Program. Third grade reading levels have improved by 2% in just one year. We have to raise the awareness of every parent about how important it is to spend that little bit of time talking to your child, reading to your child, playing with your child, if you expect them to do well as they grow up and grow older. Through collaboration and initiatives by all sectors, Kansas City is now a safer and healthier place to live. At-risk youth now have a longer life expectancy. Each of these seeds of change is an important part of the city's culture of health, nurturing healthy communities today and cultivating a strong and vibrant future. During the month of February, messages of love will be blinking over downtown Kansas City. Mid-America Arts Alliance, which is the regional arts council for six states in the Midwest region, uh, is giving a gift to the city by commissioning Jamie Burmeister, a Nebraska artist, uh, to install a temporary light installation throughout downtown Kansas City. At night, downtown Kansas City will be blinking with lights uh, in Morse code that says the message, I love you. The work uh, by Jamie Murmeister is called Message Matters and it will uh, begin installation this week and run for the month of February. Message Matters started as a project at the Bema Center for Contemporary Art in Omaha, Nebraska and they had newly installed windows on the top floor and so I thought it would be an interesting idea to use those windows as sort of a beacon or to send a message. I was at home working on my computer with the Morse code generator and it was beeping away and, and um, in the same room was my wife and after a while she sort of started to get annoyed with it and it's like, I said, what is that noise? Why, what are you doing over there? And I said, well, I'm sending you a message and that what I typed in there was, was love you, was the message that we're, we're using for the project. And she came over and she looked at it and then of course it turned from an annoyance to, to something more positive. And so that was, the, that was the, the beginning of the idea for the message and that was sort of how the, the, the idea of using lights to communicate that developed. So we're, uh, we're installing some stands that hold simple lights. These lights will then be plugged into uh, a, a DMX controller, which is a light controller that is controlled by an Arduino micro processor that I um, programmed to send the, the Morse code message for Message Matters. 
City Hall is fortunate to be selected uh, by Mid-America Arts Alliance as one of the eight locations in downtown Kansas City for this temporary light installation. And so for City Hall, it will be uh, one floor on the south side and west side of the building that will illuminate the words love you to the citizens of Kansas City. In observance of the upcoming President's Day holiday, city offices and the 311 call center will be closed on Monday, February 16th. Curbside trash and recycling collection will be delayed one day throughout that week. For more information about these stories, please log on to kcmo.gov and search for the Weekly Report. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.